that she might regain the blessing of light I had foreseen. But she has grown so strong in it as to deny us our power. Let us withdraw, La Habrea. That power remains to us, at least. So, you harness the eye's power. A pity you spent it all. What will you do now, hero? So, not even the vaunted warrior of light can unmake an Asian without relying upon mortal contrivances. In the distant past, King Thorden and his knights twelve fought and defeated Nidhogg. Though the victory cost them dear, they were rewarded with a great prize, the Dread Worm's Eyes, both of which have since been held in the Holy See's safekeeping. The eye you possess was Nidhogg's left, and long has it served as the source of the Azure Dragoon's might. As for its twin, Joined to the person of Haldroth, the first Azure Dragoon. For though he learned to harness its power, he was ultimately consumed by it. Even in death, his body decays not. A pitiful end for a fabled hero. My Asian friend, long have you and your kind sown the seeds of chaos by teaching mortals the secrets of summoning. But if you assumed that we would meekly serve as your pawn, then you are gravely mistaken. You would raise a hand against us. By taking unto my flesh the soul of the legendary King Gordon, I can become a god!
is not cessation, whose being is sustained by a millennium of fervent prayer and the eyes nigh bottomless reservoir of ether. What? Your contempt for man has proven your undoing, Asian. For my first act as God King, I do hereby sentence you to die!
How? How can this be? A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined, and still you stand. It's over then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. But knowing you, there was little chance of that. It would seem the eye has served you well. is to take them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end. Servant of Hydaelyn. 